Yo, what is up, guys? It's all my story back, bringing you guys a brand new video. And first off, yeah, got a haircut, had to, about to be the summertime, had to cut that shit off. And you see, that shit is already going back, so I'm not cutting it off next time. You see, I cut off all this facial hair, and it's already growing back, too. But anyways, back on the real shit, was that? Was that? Uh, so let's get on to the point of this video. This video is going to be about the Xbox One. Now, first of all, bitches, I know I'm late. I know I'm late on this shit. I should have did this shit yesterday. But first off, okay, I got home late, so I didn't even watch that shit live. Then, uh, what else happened? Freaking, oh yeah, uh, when I got home, I was tired as hell. I walked all the way home. It was like a two-hour walk. So, I was not going to be doing that shit. But, now I'm going to do it. So, here's pretty much the breakdown. They revealed the console. Looks like my TV cable box. Uh, who the fuck wants that? Like, looks like a cable box. And the only thing about it, they're saying you should connect your cable box to it. So, it has an HDMI pass-through that allows you to plug your cable box to it. Bad job, Microsoft. Um, but yeah. So basically, what was that this reveal? They revealed the console. Um, yeah, they revealed the console itself. It showed off some of the features it had, which shit I do not care about at all. So yeah, they revealed all of that. And they also revealed the uh, controller, new connect, all that shit. And they revealed um, some new sh partnerships and shit. Like, they partner with NFL now. Shit you already have with cable for free. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, online is still going to be uh, pay-to-play. You guys are going to still have those pay-to-play Xbox servers. So, yeah, you guys can keep paying $60 a year. I'm done with the bullshit. I actually never paid for Xbox Live in my life, so, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, so what else is happening? Um, well, other thing that's happening is, um, let me think real quick. Uh, my head is, like, just so, like, I don't even know what to say. I just, just gotta go right off the head. Well, actually, no, I'm just everywhere right now. But, um, yeah. So, also, after all that, and all the other stupid shit, uh, I guess, supposedly, FIFA 14 is supposed to be exclusive on the Xbox One. Uh, I don't know how legible that is gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be exclusive to the Xbox One and PS4, because EA and... Nintendo, they got into some shit, and they're basically like, fuck Nintendo, and Nintendo was like, fuck you from the start, you faggots, uh, cause really, I don't give a fuck about any EA games, like, Madden, it's just for fun, I don't buy any sports games, the only sports games I've bought are NBA 2K12 and 2K13, those are the only ones I bought, nothing else. Uh, sports games or yeah, I don't know. I guess they're just generic to me. I know I'm a black guy that doesn't like sports games. Ain't that some shit? Bitch, go look at my channel. You don't see anything about sports on it. Fuck sports games. And watch that shit on TV. And play a stupid interactive simulator of that shit. But anyways, yeah, let me stop writing about sports games before I get like killed on this shit. Anyways, um, now, after they did all that other shit, they revealed Call of Duty Ghost. Yeah. Call of Duty Ghost. More Call of Duty. More Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, they pretty much showed the gameplay reveal of that. Uh, they have Finding Nemo Fish DLC. Um, they have fish AI, yes, they have fish, artificial intelligence, oh yeah, and you can fucking swim now, 
So take that, Treyarch. You can swim now in a ghost. Guess what else ghost has? Dogs, motherfucker. And they, you know what they say? They say you're going to actually care about this dog. You're going to feel for this dog. And oh yeah, they finally got a new engine. They finally created a new engine. Like, they finally have a new engine. What the fuck? You could have made a new engine for Modern Warfare 2. You could have made a new engine for Modern Warfare 3. But no, you you wait until the next generation to make a subpar engine. I don't care what anyone says. That engine is subpar. Because Battlefield 3 looks better than that engine. Before you come and fucking rape my ass. Battlefield 3 and goddamn... Metal of Honor Warfire, the, the new graphics knows fucking shit on that engine. They do. What? It, 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 it. So now the engine finally makes the hands look more real instead of looking like those fake fingers. They, they're they more round and unpolygon now. That's the only thing they're changing. They shove the cuts on your hands and stuff. Like, been there, done that. I think even got them, uh, Treyarch's current engine on Black Ops 2. If you play that shit on the PC, got them, it b better than that engine. Like, that engine isn't shit. Plus, the game's coming out on PS4, too. But they're like, oh, the Xbox crowd is, has Call of Duty on lockdown. It probably does, but Call of Duty is dead to me. I may end up buying it. Why? Because of Mr. Fargo. You go talk to him. And it's just some other shit, but that's the only reason why I'm probably gonna end up buying another Call of Duty. He was the reason why I bought bought Blops too. Okay, I did not I did not buy it on my main accord. I was probably only gonna buy it for zombies, but I mainly bought it for him because of him. Oh yeah, for zombies. <laughs> and the whole funny thing about that is I can't even fucking play shit because my PS3 broke. If y'all niggas want to donate, y'all niggas can't. I'm doing this shit on my own. I don't do donations. Plus, y'all niggas not going to donate anyway. No one likes me enough to donate shit. So, yeah. Anyways, back to the shit about the X1, Xbox One or Xbox Shitty One or Xbox One plus Connect 1080p stupid piece of shit and Xbox One finally integrated battery controller or Xbox One finally getting Blu-ray. What else can I say? Or Xbox One, DDR3, 8 gigabyte RAM versus PS3's DDR5, which is like way faster. Microsoft and their old generation tech. Okay. Anyways, after that, they re they finally revealed one new game. Game another game from Remedy. You know those guys that made Alan Wake and then. After they made Alan Wake, uh, the, the Xbox fanboys were like, Ha, take that, you Sony fanboys. We have a new exclusive franchise. Alan Wake goes to PC. This is how they were looking. They were like, He's not exclusive anymore. And guess what? It's not exclusive anymore because the bitch is on Steam. And Valve is making a Steam box. So, yeah. Microsoft, y'all ain't got shit. You suck, okay? You suck. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna end the rest of this video here. Uh, later on, uh, this week I'm gonna be uploading a video of me comparing both the, uh, P PS4 and the Xbox One. And it's gonna basically... I think the first part is going to be like a video capture of me, this sexy face that you guys love. And then I'm going to switch to a gameplay. But uh, yeah, this is Storyline Story checking out. And I'll see you guys later. Peace, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment on my shit, please. Don't just like it. Comment on my shit. Do a real comment. Don't just be like nice. I like those comments too. I like to say thank you, but just, just comment, man. What do you think? about the Xbox One. What do you think about the PS4? What do you think about the Wii U underpowered? Anyways guys, so I start checking out. I'll see you guys later and uh
बाय